right guys gonna talk a little bit about Lyft's new power zones they're relatively new um, you've seen them in your map now they're blotches sort of like surge on uber and different shaded colors depending on how shitty the pay is I think it's like a darker blue when it's two bucks and then it gets pinker and pinker and pinker the more money um, you can chase if you want um, again, it's, it's going to be similar to Uber Surge. I've been testing this out the last six weeks. Um, with this one exception, at least for me, um, it actually sticks a lot better than Uber Surge. And of course, just in case you don't know, you can drive through the power zone and it'll still attach to your next ride, even if you're outside of one. So the same as, um, you know, Uber's been doing the last gosh what three years Lyft finally caught on um my gut is to be brutally frank um you know I, I see a lot of drivers posting about oh you know i was on top of an 850 and i only got 625 on uber on lyft man it seems to stick with whatever it is and occasionally you know i've been on top of eights and it'll attach like 1025 1075 but one of the things i haven't seen on lyft is after the fact of the ride i've never seen more money i'm not saying that doesn't exist but at least in my experience um and cool thing too man about lift you can get that shit attached and if you know what you're doing with the app you can close the app out go to bed and that bonus will be attached for your first ride the next day or the next week at least currently but i'm not sharing that but who knows it's probably by design if you think about it logically um, it's a lot easier to get a driver on the road the next day if they know they're getting an extra three four five six bucks test to the ride so it could be by design but regardless so if you drive through one of those zones uh, it's going to attach to your next ride with whatever the highest dollar amount you drove through was um, again with lyft i think what they're doing and how it differs dramatically from uber surge is i've been following these maps for like six weeks on lyft i mean i'll get surge from my or i'm sorry power zone bonuses from my couch attached and just um if i end up wanting to go out and drive that day i can fire up the app and have it attached for the first ride um but different than uber surge supply demand at least in my experience i'm seeing it in the areas on lift with the power zones that drivers typically don't like driving at least in my market because um you know they're more dangerous areas a lot less likely to get a tip um, areas, things like that. And Lyft keeps them up there to try to attract people. And I, I don't believe it's based on demand. I chased a couple a few weeks ago and literally burnt 10 miles worth of gas getting back to where I needed to go. Wow, Vegas is busy. I'm here at the airport and I'm like 10 cars back, not even near the, um, the stalls where we pick up at so if you're in vegas man get ready we got nascar we got a bunch of shit going on this weekend it's gonna be some business in town and hopefully some folks with some money but again on the power zone on lift um in their defense again it seems to stick better and a lot more accurately than uber does if you're having trouble getting the the top surge to stick on uber again you just got to keep closing out and opening up the app this thing's constantly recalibrating uh, but, it, uh, you know, Lyft, like Uber, I'm not going to go, actually, less so on Lyft than Uber. I'm not going to go, if I see a $24 surge, or power zone, excuse me, on Lyft, two miles away, I'm not going to go chase it. Um, in my experience, over the last six weeks, that thing drops like a sack of potatoes when you even get close from like 24 to two bucks again these companies you use a lot of fraudulent inducement is what it's called in the business world when you throw something out there you, that you do not plan on fulfilling on um, but again they're not regulated at least in many markets so they can do what they want to do and gamify drivers and gimmick the shit out of you to get you to places you don't want to go i mean again that's what these streaks are they're to get you to take rides you don't want to take when you pull up for that third ride on a 15 dollars streak and they're 4.28 rated and there's five of them and you got a sedan 
you may take them because you're going to get that extra 15 bucks. I don't chase that shit. I have some rules that I follow. Um, I mean, of course, you can pull up, wait out the timer, try to get them to cancel without destroying your car or getting physically violent with you for them not following the rules. Um, anyway, I got a ride here at the airport. I got to text them. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit with lift power zones. Post some comments if you have any other questions. You know, again, I don't know everything about these apps, but I do study them regularly. Try to find ways to make these apps work for me and not me work for them.